Pep Guardiola consistently voices his admiration for Jeremy Doku, especially highlighting his astute decision-making abilities that truly astounded him. Doku swiftly responds to passes and displays an exceptional grasp of the game. Guardiola is steadfast in maintaining Doku's style of play, recognizing his consistent brilliance, particularly in home games. Once again, Doku dazzled by notching City's opening goal and delivering four assists, three of which were extraordinary, including a deflected shot. He rightfully claimed the Man of the Match title, replicating his performance from two weeks ago against Brighton. Guardiola openly acknowledges Doku's rapid adaptation. However, it never occurred to Guardiola that Doku would swiftly evolve into a pivotal figure in City's attacking lineup. Doku has frequently emerged as a linchpin player, showcasing a distinction between excelling in specific instances and being an integral part of the team's overall strategy. He's already gained the trust of the team, notably contributing to their triumphant attack on multiple occasions. Did Guardiola foresee this? When asked, Pep viewed it as a natural progression. He believes certain dynamics on the field aren't always orchestrated by the coach. Players intuitively recognize Doku's ability to create opportunities if given the ball in the penalty area, shaping a natural inclination to pass to him. During a recent training session, a small court competition pitted Doku against Kyle Walker and others, where Doku emerged victorious. This incident led teammates to perceive Doku as a potential catalyst for creating opportunities, a natural inclination rather than a mandatory directive. To grasp the strides Doku has made in such a brief span, consider his debut performance against Fulham two months ago. Initially, he grappled with excessive touches, mishandling simple passes, and frequently losing ball control. In essence, his performance was lackluster, a natural consequence for a 21-year-old initially seeming ill-suited to City's meticulously structured game. Adapting to City's pace isn't unique to Doku, Bernardo Silva. Jack Grealish, Joao Cancelo, Leroy Sane, Rodri, and Riyad Mahrez all took a season to settle. A lackluster debut, understandable for many, left Doku and Guardiola dissatisfied. The takeaway? Doku's quality is evident, but like his counterparts, it's a gradual process. Remarkably, in just a fortnight, Doku showcased marked improvement. His standout performance against West Ham, Scoring the equaliser through trademark dribbling, marked a turning point. He's since maintained consistency. Against West Ham, his impact was pivotal, not only netting a much-needed goal post-halftime but dominating City's first half. The team leans on the left side, and Doku seamlessly fits in, creating opportunities that others haven't converted into assists. Even in less fruitful games like the 2-1 loss to Wolverhampton Wanderers, Doku's opportunities waned. Yet, Guardiola's unwavering trust in him was palpable. This belief was evident in the clash with Brighton and Hove Albion, where Doku troubled James Milner in the first half. His class shone in the Bournemouth game, an undeniable display of his impressive talent. Circumstances play a part, City grappled with key injuries early on. Grealish, pivotal on the left, faced setbacks. Hence, Doku emerges as crucial to the team's dynamics. Success isn't guaranteed for him at this juncture, especially with the squad nearly fully fit, save for Kevin De Bruyne and Grealish shining in recent games. Guardiola's choice of Doku boils down to merit and skill, despite the competition. Doku's Premier League record stands at two goals and five assists, but beyond stats, he injects enthusiasm and thrill into the game. Naturally, not every match will align this way. Guardiola prioritizes Grealish prowess, evident in his stellar performance at Old Trafford last weekend. Guardiola acknowledges Doku's ongoing adjustment to the rigorous thrice-weekly schedule, a physical challenge akin to Grealish's own adaptation period. With two potent options on the left, Guardiola faces the challenge of potentially deploying both simultaneously, with Doku possibly shifting to the right his more accustomed flank. This shift poses the next hurdle for the city manager. Despite favouring the right side, Doku's impact is more pronounced on the left. 
while his initial assist last Saturday originated from the right, a crafty dribble and backward pass for Bernardo Silva, he also created chances for Erling Holland from that position in Switzerland. Two months back, Doku grappled with adaptation, now, is pushed to perform consistently on the opposite flank. This showcases two realities, the towering standards at City and Doku's surprising ability to raise them even further.